Hey guys, 12 past midnight here and today I got my new completed Palmetto State Armory Upper. This is a 18 inch barrel with a rifle link gas system and I went with an 18 inch and a rifle length because I plan on shooting three gun with it and I want the softest recoil as possible. Uh, I went ahead and I bought it with the standard A2 clamshell and A2 front sight. Uh, it was cheaper that way, and I'm going to go with an aftermarket handguard, so I really didn't need anything that wasn't going to be used. But, in looking at this and doing some research, I now have a A2 front sight with a pinned uh, gas block. So, I did purchase... A low profile gas block. I'm not going to open this because I'm going to use this later. So I did purchase a low pro gas block and I can see that like that. And I had all intents and purposes of using this. If I were to use this, I would go ahead and install it, remove the screws, and dimple the barrel. But what I'm still left with are two pin slots in my barrel. Is that a problem? No, it's not. Am I an anal asshole and might get annoyed with that? Maybe just a little bit. So, I was doing some looking and I found a couple other guys on YouTube that have taken the A2 front sight, cut it, and ground it down, and made a little pearl gas block out of it. So I thought, well, you know, why not try this? Then I used my existing pin markings in the barrel, and I get a secure gas block that I know is not going to move without any dimpling of the barrel. So what's it going to look like? Is it going to work? Not quite sure, but we're going to give it a shot. So I'm going to shoot some video. I haven't done this before. I'm going to go ahead and shoot it without audio so I can just let this thing run. I'll add some audio over the top of it and we'll see how it turns out. Uh, I have a ALG EMR rail coming for this. Um, it's about the lightest rail I found for the money. Um, there are a couple other lighter ones out there if you want to spend $250, $300 on a rail. I'm trying to do this a little low budget, um, thrifty like that. So excited to see the ALG 15 inch rail. I've read a lot of really good things with barrel nut. I believe it comes in at about 10 and a half ounces. So that's in the weight that I'm looking for. And we'll see how it turns out. So stay tuned, guys. Um, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, keep watching the rest of the video. Hit that like button and subscribe. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do, I'm going to take my caliper, and the A2 front sight uh, retaining pins are tapered. So you're going to want to find uh, which side's the narrow side, and push from the or tap out from the narrow side. Um, if you try tapping from the large side, you're just going to drive them in tighter and it's going to be a pain in the ass. So I went ahead, I've already removed the flash hider. And I'm just going to tap the pins out. Once the pins are out, I wiggled the front sight uh, loose and then pull back on the delta ring. Makes getting the handguard off. Um, easier. Go ahead and pull the front side off. Then you'll want to use a, a real small punch. I'm actually using a drill bit to tap the roll pin out. Don't lose that. And then you can separate the gas tube from the sight. Right now I'm just taking a quick measurement. I want to make sure that the handguard will hide the sight or a gas block that I'm making out of the sight. I also got curious as to how thick the low pro gas block is and if I could at least match that by cutting the A2 sight down. And what I actually found out is uh, creating a low pro, low pro 
gas block out of the front sight will actually make a smaller gas block. I'm using a thin curve cutoff wheel on a hand grinder and I'm not applying a lot of pressure. Um, you don't need a lot of pressure to cut this metal. Um, it cuts actually really easily. I also don't have uh, the vise um, putting a lot of pressure on this site. I didn't want to run the risk of deforming anything, so I just have it in there. Um, not real snug, just enough to hold it so I can work with it. So now I'm shaping up the square edges and kind of rough cutting them down. I'll flip this over. I'll go back. I have a, uh, a sanding disc that I'll use to go back in and shape it a little bit better. Um, I'd suggest if you have access to a belt sander with a uh, high grit, uh, finer paper on it, uh, a guy could shape it down a lot better. Again, I'm just kind of made a mark from the side and then I'm just working this back and forth. Just a little bit of pressure. Now I'm going to go back and smooth all my edges, round everything off, try to get it, uh, get it looking pretty clean. You see here, that's the, uh, the difference in thickness of the two um, on the gas tube is a little bit wider, but I, I still have the low pro block beat. So use denatured alcohol to clean everything. Once you're done, you want to get all the oil off uh, before you paint. You can paint this with a high temp engine paint. I'm going to use the cold blue. I'm just going to use a q-tip to apply it and you can see once you start applying it uh, it turns pretty quick um, apply a coat flush it with cold water um, I, I applied two coats um, seemed to do the job i could have gone with a third um, it's pretty black though the metal's protected uh, i shouldn't get any corrosion or or any rust or anything like that so Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe.